So you sound very excited about the film. Tell me why. I, I just love this movie. I love everything about it. I love that um, I feel like it's an old-fashioned movie there that you don't see anymore. You know, there aren't a lot of there aren't special effects. It's not a sequel. It's not a big action film. It's just a sweet story that takes place in small-town America. And it's if it doesn't hit you one way or another, I would be shocked. Yeah, it's very lovely, and I feel like there's a lot of like moral elements to it. What do you what do you think about that? Well, Peter Hedges wrote and directed the film, and he has a lot to say, and he really stacked this movie with a lot of his big ideas and themes. One of them is that you know we don't make anything in this country mm. anymore. We don't. We all of our manufacturing jobs are going away, and what happens to a small town when when you stop being in charge of making something? And one is that. You know, your children aren't yours forever. You have to love them and not judge them while you have them. Let them be who they are. Let them go through their struggles. And that's hard for all of us to hear who yeah. are parents because you can't help but want to protect your kids from anything. And that's not always the best thing. Now, do you feel like you as a parent, like, take roles or think about your roles a little differently now? Not really. I mean, the, the way that I do think about them differently is I just get pickier and pickier with every yeah. baby. And I want to do... I, I can only do things that I just can't say no to, and this was definitely one of those yeah. jobs. Now, what does Timothy teach you, you both, as parents? Um, Timothy teaches us to chill out. <laughs> he teaches us to let go, to not judge ourselves as much, and not judge each other and our family, that... that um, you have to love your family for who they are and and that a family doesn't have to look how you expect it to look it can surprise you but that doesn't make it any less of a valid family yeah i think they kind of i think of him as this perfect child that they've created but then there's times that it doesn't go exactly how they thought it would mm -hmm. you know but that's the way life is you yeah. know and and you you have to just ride that wave <laughs> What other morals do you think people can get out of it, like as families going to a film and stuff like that? Well, one thing that I love is that, you know, I saw it with two girlfriends, and one of them brought her 10-year-old son mm -hmm. along. And they cried at different points throughout the film, and I was so busy watching them, I could hardly watch <laughs> the movie. And so afterwards I said, were you guys just really sad? Is it, is, was it that it was sad? And they said, no, we just recognized ourselves up there at different points in the film. And there, the 10-year-old said, why were you guys sad at all? This was a kid's movie. It was for me. So everyone takes what they're going to take from yeah. the movie. And did you see yourself as a parent in there? Or? For sure. Oh, yes, for sure. <laughs> now, what are these leaves that he has? Like, what do those symbolize exactly? Well, all kinds of things. I mean, growth and change and loss and... Um, I don't know, you have to see the movie and t think about what it means to you, but it, it's something different to everyone. Now, Timothy's always kind of doing this thing where he's like holding his hands up. Like, what exactly is that? Like, what do you think he's, he's doing? He's just connecting to the earth and to the sun. He's, you know, photosynthesizing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a lovely film, and it's Thank got you. a great aspect about family and, you know, just all of that. So thanks so much for talking thanks. with me. Thanks. Yeah, my <laughs> pleasure.